There's a picture that is everywhere. It's on the front page of the New York Times. Sadly, we have it, uh, and I think you have to see it. Everybody should see it. It is a despicable, heartbreaking, um, grim reminder of the fatal journey that so many people take trying to get across our border illegally. And President Trump, for years, has been warning Americans and the world about the fatal, dangerous crisis at the border. And this picture is so awful. It shows a young father face down in the water. He's got his little, I think, 13-month-old toddler. And I want to warn you, if you're by a computer, uh, we, we have the picture posted at Mike right now on the stream. It's terrible. It's an awful picture. The little baby girl is tucked under the dead man's shirt. They are both dead. They drowned trying to make the perilous journey across the Rio Grande. It is heartbreaking. It's horrifying, okay? And it it is confirmation that what President Trump has been saying for years is real. It's, it's, it's the vindication of a man who is so despised that not only do they not give him credit for warning the world this whole time about this crisis, now they're blaming him for these deaths and the, and the crisis at the border. Somehow it's his fault. Lawrence Tribe is a Harvard Harvard professor. And I'm looking at a tweet that he posted. And I'm going to read this tweet to you from this morning. He wrote, and he put the picture that, again, we have, and, and I'm sorry that it's up there if you, it, it's, it's graphic, it's difficult to see, it's on, again, it's everywhere, so... We made a decision here at Team Gallagher to put it up at MikeOnline.com. If you click the Watch Mike on TV button or if if you go to TownHall.com, you hit TownHall TV, you'll see this awful picture. Here's what Lawrence Tribe, this leftist Harvard professor, tweeted about it this morning. He wrote, Mr. Trump, I can't look at this picture and call you Mr. President. This is on you. May it be seared into your pathetic memory until your dying day. Can can you wrap your brain around that kind of rage-filled hatred for one man that you would blame him for precisely what he's been warning us about for three years? When he came down the elevator, he talked about this horrific problem we have, this crisis, this ghastly scenario. And Democrats are stopping this president and blocking every effort to try to secure our border as this crisis continues to grow and build. Do you remember just a few months ago, they were denying that there was any crisis? If you watched cable news last night across the board, Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, everyone's acknowledging there's a crisis now. You see this picture of this this horrifying sight of this dead man and his little beautiful baby girl tucked under his T-shirt. He's trying to protect her as they're drowning. And he's got apparently her, him under her under his T-shirt, this poor little angel dying this horrible death along with her, her father who made the decision to come across the border, across the Rio Grande. Incidentally, And I'm not trying to be callous here because this breaks, I'm a dad, I'm a father. This hurts me, my heart, hurts my soul to see this picture. But this is not new. You think these are the only two people that have died trying to cross the border? This is what the president has been warning us about for three years. Now people like Lawrence Tribe want to blame him for it? They said there wasn't even a crisis. Do you remember? Can I take you back just a few months ago? Don Lemon, part of the CNN hate mob, and it is a mob over at CNN every single night. Let's listen to what Don Lemon, one of their primetime anchors, one of the main faces of CNN, said just a few months ago about what we saw last night 
uh, and this terrible picture and this horrible news with the the, the border guy qu- quitting and they don't have enough toothpaste and soap and their kids are sleeping on cement floors. There's so many of them that can't keep up with them. They're doing everything they can. What are you supposed to do other than not have a border? Just come on in. Come on in. We won't have any restrictions whatsoever. That, of course, is what the left wants. They don't believe in the country. They don't believe in sovereignty. They don't believe in border security. Go back just four months ago. I turned on Don Lemon last night and made the mistake of two minutes. I got so angry where he said, oh, there's crisis. And, of course, he's blaming Trump, too. Everybody's blaming Trump on the left and the Trump haters for this so-called crisis. And yet, just a few months ago, when President Trump said there's a crisis, here's what the Don Lemons of the world said in reply. Here's a really, really disgraceful thing, okay? You listening? All of this, this whole mess is manufactured. It's a manufactured crisis a non-crisis at the border that's really not fooling anybody. People may think, oh, it's a crisis, it's a crisis. They know it's not a crisis. That's all for political expediency. That's all for getting what they want. That's all for saving this president's rear end. Now, now, that's just four months ago. If that man had one sliver of integrity, he'd have to apologize to President Trump for calling this crisis manufactured because that's what they were saying that Trump was manufacturing this crisis he was just ginning it all up was it real? It's not happening we don't have a problem at the board it's just him, they're just trying to save his butt now they're singing a different tune well you know what that tune ought to include we're sorry President Trump you were right you were correct every American ought to be disgusted by this, well, what's happening at our border. Every American ought to be infuriated. Every American ought to be angry. But every American should be grateful for a commander-in-chief who has been right about this border situation all along. 